Today, I'm excited to work on a product that I've been waiting to do for a long time. I'm going to work on getting this wall here ready for my inverters and battery bank system that I had recently purchased. It hasn't arrived yet, but I thought, well, let's get a head start on it and let's start prepping. So I've got some three quarter inch plywood here that I'm screwing to the wall uh, right into the studs. I, I'm putting this up first so that I have a little bit more to screw to. So if a bracket doesn't land on a stud perfectly, I can just put a screw in and know that I've got something solid to hold on to rather than relying on sheetrock. I picked this wall here because my main panel is right here and it'll just make it easier, shorter runs to uh, get everything all hooked up to the main panel. So we're gonna do the three quarter inch plywood down and then I bought some Dura Rock. We're gonna put that over the top of it as like a flame retardant or a, a fireproof wall in case something were to go wrong. I don't think it's required um, in my area. It might be in your area, but it's highly recommended by the manufacturer to have a non-combustible surface to mount them to. So you see, I got an outlet down here to work around. I'm just gonna extend that out and then uh, put the cover back on it. And uh, it probably will end up getting covered by a battery, but it shouldn't be a big deal. So my wall here, you can see the foundation is here and then it comes up and goes over. I had to do a little bit of uh, framing to extend this all the way up. I figured I'd just go the whole height of the sheet so I don't have to cut the plywood sheet down. I think the setup only requires like six and a half feet, but I decided I'll go with the extra eight feet. Gives me more room to run a conduit and run whatever else I need to. So the next step is we're going to take the Dura Rock sheets uh, that I got at my local home improvement store and we're just going to screw them straight to the plywood. Um, one thing that I did do that is a good helpful tip, I found out where all the studs are and then marked the floor or where all the studs are so I know where I could screw and hit a stud. And then also once I get the Dura Rock up, I can uh, put the long screws through on the mounting brackets to hit a stud as well if there's one in the area. So to fasten the plywood to the wall, we're going through half inch sheetrock and then three quarter inch uh, plywood so that's an inch and a quarter of screw before you even get to the stud so I decided to go with a three inch screw to fasten the sheetrock into the stud then I know the screw is not going to pull out and I've got uh, a good secure backing and then for the Dura Rock when I fasten that to the wall that's just going to be done with uh, probably inch and a half screw or inch and a quarter screw so that's only a half inch thick and I'm going to screw directly to this I'm not worried about hitting the studs with the uh, Dura Rock, I'll probably intentionally miss the stud so I can leave that space available for the mounting hardware. All right, so as you can see here, I got my Dura Rock mounted now, and I did not mount Dura Rock over here yet because I am going to need to put more plywood that way and then more Dura Rock that way as I expand my system. So this will be big enough to get me started. I have three batteries coming. They'll go down here and then the inverter. So my plan is the inverter will go here, one battery here, Another battery will go here, and then there's that conduit box that runs across the top that I'll use to uh, run my wires into this panel here. So my plan is just to simply go straight over and then up into the bottom of this panel to run my power into here. And that should make mounting, or that should make uh, wiring go a little bit easier. So now the next step will be mapping out where all the extra electrical panels will go because I will need to mount another one of these shutoff switches here and then also a transfer switch so I can go from uh, grid power to the inverter power. So I need to figure out now where I'm going to mount the other one of these and the transfer switch. I want to try to keep them as close to here as possible because the cost of copper wire has gone up significantly, so the closer I can keep it over here, the shorter leads, and the, then the cheaper uh, the cost will be. Hopefully my system will ship out here in the next few days. I'm hoping so. It's been a couple weeks since I ordered it, and then uh, once I get it, I want to start mounting uh, the brackets up on the roof. And in the meantime, uh, I ordered the, the other panels that I'll need for the electrical, and we'll figure out where we're going to mount those and get those mounted. They should be here in a few days, so I'll post a video on how I'm going to lay that all out uh, when they come. I plan on doing uh, videos along this whole process, this whole journey, so uh, if you have any questions about what I have done or what I'm going to do, just leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer it, and I plan on videoing and filming every step of the process in detail for you. So please be sure and hit that subscribe button and follow along to the channel. So thanks again for watching, guys, and look forward to seeing you in the next video.